The most recent episode of Critical Role, it was very much a character building episode. We learned quite a bit more about Bo's backstory in particular, and she did have a little fight, a little like training session with another monk who was uh, trying to take her, take Bo under her tutelage. So the episode started off with the group still trying to nail down the specifics of what they were going to do as far as bringing back the body of the Kauri to prove themselves innocent, and then also dealing with Toya, the now uh, unconscious and soon to be severely distraught young dwarven girl as her caretaker had been killed right in front of her basically. And luckily she wasn't conscious when that happened but she did come to consciousness and see the head of her caretaker being lugged around and dropped onto a boat which she wasn't terribly happy about obviously. And then they did manage to get back to the dock. They were trying to put together this plan where Caleb would go and get the lawmaster Norda and uh, claim that he had killed the devil toad on his own uh, and that the toad was in fact the source of all of the bad things that have been happening recently which proves that his friends locked in the end were innocent. However, during that period of time while Caleb was making his way to Norda, um, three of them managed to get caught while trying to sneak back into the inn. They end up getting arrested and taken to the stockades. Ford does easily manage to get back to the hotel, or back to the inn, but upon finding his friends aren't there, he asks the guards if he can be escorted to the stockades where they must surely be. Molly manages to sneak Toya back into the tents, back into the circus tents, uh, and when he discovers that they're being arrested while they're at the docks, he just decides to come up and allow himself to be arrested as well, just so that he's not having to make up weird excuses. I feel like they could have just skipped the whole deceit plan and just come out right and said like, hey, we snuck out and we killed the guy, here he is. But uh, yeah, obviously they didn't feel that they could do that. It ended up working out for the most part anyway though. Um, thanks in large part due to the book that Caleb had found, he was able to use that and hand it over to uh, Ar Archivist Xenoth and also to Lawmaster Norda, which was good evidence that the head that they had did belong to a fiend, a, an evil and dangerous creature. Creature that could have done the things that happened. And so it was very obvious that the creature had done it and that they had killed the creature somehow. And so Lawmaster Norda did just go ahead and set them all free with the exception of Gustav, the uh, leader of the circus, who said he would take full responsibility. And so Norda basically sentenced him to indentured servitude, essentially, where he would have to pay off all of the debt that was caused from the investigation and the damage that was caused by the toad because he did bring that toad. And then they just went to the inn and it got drunk and chatted with the circus people and a few of the circus people decided to set off and make their own circus. Yasha showed back up also. As I said, uh, her character is definitely going to have to have explanations for why Ashley's availability is poor, the actress. She'll, she'll be coming and going and her character will also, by necessity, be coming and going. And so she showed back up. Apparently after she had run off that f the first night, she was captured immediately and had just been sitting in the stockades, was what they said. She had just been sitting in jail, unbeknownst to anyone else, that whole time. They all just said their goodbyes to the circus people, and the circus people figured out where they were going, and then they split off. And then that night after they went to bed, that's when um, Bo was confronted again by a woman that she had seen outside the stockades. Her and Zenoth, archivist Zenoth, took, took her in a quiet spot. And that's where she was confronted about the fact that she had essentially run away from a school her parents had paid for her to be a part of. It was then that the female monk that was trying to rein in Bo revealed herself to be a, a part of a secret order that basically went around seeking truth and um, finding faults in systems and then breaking those systems in order to, for ultimate justice essentially which is appealing to Bo as as Bo is a person constantly trying to like get the truth get to the truth of the matter that's a part of her character. So then 
the woman basically just beats the shit out of Bo for a bit and uses some interesting techniques that she then teaches Bo. She went back to bed, they woke up the next morning, and they all kind of made their plans to stick together. They went and bought some supplies around town. They picked up some drugs at the herbal store, recreational drugs, um, as well as buying a potion for 50 gold, which obviously is pretty expensive for them. And they also picked up a map and did a little bit of mischief. Caleb and Nott went to a bathhouse. Caleb learned a couple new spells from his book that he had purchased. They all gathered back together, got a horse and wagon from the circus, as the circus people would no longer need that one, and set off on their way to Zadash, uh, is their current goal, which is the second largest city on this continent. And so that's where they're headed. They're supposed to be kind of like an outpost for the Soltris uh, Academy that Ford is trying to get into, that Jester is trying to help Ford to find, and like that's kind of their main goal right now as far as Ford is concerned, and the rest of the group is basically just kind of tagging along because why not right now. Caleb has definitely grown more fond of the group. Ford in particular, he has a fondness for and, see, and can see how Ford can provide a stable pillar to support the group and also to help keep himself and not out of the trouble that they've been in in the past few months. Overall, uh, this episode was funny again. Like I said, there was essentially no combat, though technically there, there was a fight. Not combat heavy at all, very much character driven. Uh, Bo had her own like private session where the rest of the group stepped out, so they're not fully aware of what happened there. Obviously they can just go back and watch the video, but their characters have no idea what occurred. But yeah, it was funny, of course, as always. Jester and not getting up to their usual antics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.